Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Boyfriend charged for murder of female dancehall artist. Spice and Lisa Hyper show growth. Shensia dog up prophetess. Stay tuned for the stories in detail and remember to follow me on Instagram at Mota underscore Massey. Yeah. Yeah. We're more than a friend, you are more than a family. Oh, words just can't explain the pain, my heart still bleeds. I wish you were here. Oh, I wish, you were here. wish that I could see you again. That was Mr. Easy with his song called Wish You Were Here, produced by Conroy Smith of a Love Star label. If you have ever lost someone, especially someone very close to you, his lyrics will resonate with you. His delivery is clear and the lyrics are easily comprehended and properly composed. The song is suitable for all audiences, locally and internationally, because he sings mostly in English. This song also reminds us to cherish the memories and the time we spend with our loved ones. Wish You Were Here is from The Changes Rhythm that also features Tishana with Tackle Me and Webster with Changes. All songs are available on all digital platforms. To listen to Wish You Were Here, please click the link in the description box below and check him out on Instagram at the official Mr. Easy. Make him know se amota masi no. I have a video for you guys. Yes, one with Spice and Lisa Hyper and indeed it's a good look. Then bury their hat it and can give us a video like this. Check this out. Hey, the People talk facts, bitch point on Kim says she know me from back. We open our head with the fucking clutch back. She never perform a sting now. She draw me out. Say you mash up the place. No fit tongue, you mash up. Mount a boo where you get try clean your ears. Sting stand up and you stiffer than it. In your mouth, your own gun, a sting, and end up get booed. Then you talk, say you take it, you leave a big loo. Talk when they pick you out, a gaza crew, you put it in the house. Lisa, I'm like, do the tongue, I'm eating, I'm not like a Congo drum, and then I do the thing. Lisa, I'm like, do the tongue, I'm eating, I'm not feeling like a Congo drum, and then I do the thing. So Spice captioned that on her Instagram, 10 years of rivalry ended in a beautiful friendship at Lisa Hyper. We still hold the record of the baddest female lyrical battle exchange. Who would have known this day would even be possible again? Sculpture body hot. Thanks for coming to my talk show. Spice it up out now on Magnum Hop TV at Magnum Tonic Wine. Lisa Hyper was in the comment section. She said, I'm very proud of us. And she tagged Spice. We really do gotta have a past to live the future. I'm happy we chose to rekindle the fire to our friendship. Love and love alone, Gracie. Continue to do great and big things. And thanks for having me a part of your show a second time. It was fun making you laugh so hard. Spice responded to her, Nicholas is 14 now. And I need to remind him that apart from me, your breast was the first one in feel up. Never say like a baby did love you so. Lisa Hyper posted the same video as well, but her caption reads, Yo, this was a blood clot war. But just look at us now at Spice Official. Who would ever thought this is where we would be? I am happy that we could rekindle the fire to our friendship and show our fans how much we've grown. Love and love alone, Gracie. Continue to great and big things. So Spice commented underneath her post, Unity wins. Big up yourself. Our growth is everything. This was definitely a clash to remember. Popcorn is in the comment section laughing, saying, are we wrong we don't know popcorn they're just celebrating their friendship not true myself so may have to point out how much i appreciate and love to see the two female artists singing their songs singing their diss songs right beside each other and it is so clear so no animosity in a day it's all fun it's all good vibes and what i would love to see is this kind of behavior spreading right across the genre the meals them need to behave like this too. Civil is just clash.
and I'm not serious, don't take it personal. I may alone feel say if we take this approach, the industry will be more profitable. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who remember this prophetess? Now I will be exposing the ones from Jamaica, and a lot of people don't know this, but Shansia has actually sacrificed her mother. That's the reason why. Those of you who keep saying she didn't, and it is not real, the Lord is saying you need to stop and open up your eyes and see what is going on in the world today. They have all signed contract with the devil, glory be to God, and they have made their decision, glory be to God. For those of you who do not know, Shaggy is a witch. Shaggy is a witch and has been practicing black magic for a very long time. Sacrificed friends and family. He is no different. Popcorn is a part of the occult and has sacrificed his friends to gain the popularity. Sean Paul is, is into sorcery. These are the type of people that you have been listening to. The Lord is saying you need to wash your hands because they are not what you think. These people are nothing but dark and demonic and will kill anyone in their family line to get the success that they have. The Lord is saying they keep calling themselves blessed. The Lord is saying to you today, I did, I did not bless them. None of my blessing came to these people. They gained the success they have because they signed contract with the devil in the realm of the spirit to gain their popularity and they are going to perish. Anywho, massive it seem like say Shensia just see this a video, yeah, because she addressed the prophetess in her snap on Instagram. She posted the video, then she captioned that I'ma deal with this. The right way. Cause y'all really want me to go to prison. Bitch, get your lawyer. Then Shensia posted the prophetess TikTok page. Me no probably she want our Shen Yang name for go over there. Is it me? I don't know. But anyways, after that snap, she said, talking about God. I hate these false prophets. I bet you can say that to my face. Y'all always want to talk shit on social media and be quiet as f or supportive in person. Uno no bad. Then she posted a DM that she received. I hope you will bring your fine demonic ass to Kenya. Then she captioned that I'm done. Why shen see a come out pan the prophetess not true myself. A St. Catherine businessman has been charged in connection with the 2019 fatal shooting of female entertainer Keshan. Charged is 34-year-old Tony Martin of Sharper Lane in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. Martin was charged on Wednesday, December 15, following a ruling by the Director of Public Prosecutions. Following the ruling, Martin is to appear before the St. Catherine Parish Court to answer to the charge of murder. Initially, Martin told investigators that he was acting in self-defense after being attacked and stabbed by the entertainer. Kesan, whose real name is Kenesha Brown, was shot in Old Harbor on July 20, 2019 during a dispute with Martin, a licensed firearm holder. Massive, this was indeed a very unfortunate event. If you guys remember, she had a collaboration with vibes cartel so to see this man being brought to justice i'm sure many of us will be pleased what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below so that's it for today massive montana big up on a nice clean self enough love enough respect blessings upon blessings upon blessings positive vibrations going out to the massive i'm out of massy magan Mauta Massey. Mauta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.